Yo, Philly254 living life. Back at it. So as we all know, this channel is both about the Steam Deck and cloud gaming. And in this video, we're going to discuss how to bring the two together. It's, it's somewhat easier than what you would probably think. Or in other ways, it could be harder than what you probably think. We're going to find out real quick. And as always, like and subscribe. Do your due diligence. You know the, you know the, you know the drill. You know the drill. So let's get into it. So, as you can see, first things first, we got to get Google Chrome. And it's very simple, just like always. We got to go down to our desktop mode. Now, as you can see, I've already installed Google Chrome, so I'm not going to uninstall it or reinstall it for the sake of the video. But I'm going go to go through the steps and whatnot. Switch to desktop. Let it do its thing. There we go. Oh, by the way, I got a young dongle here. It's pretty cool. Doesn't power the Steam Deck or anything, but for quick little moments where I need the mouse and the keyboard, it works out. It's real portable. You know what I'm saying? I might do a review on it, let you let you guys get the get the lowdown on it. So anyway. So what we're gonna do first things first, you're gonna go to that Discover store. There we go. Type in Chrome. And you want to go ahead and install Google Chrome. Don't worry about the Google Chrome unstable one. Don't do that. The dev developer one, don't worry about that. Just install the regular Google Chrome. As you can see, I got it already installed. After that, you're done with that part. Next thing's next is you want to go over to, well, call it the start menu, but application launcher on the bottom left. And you can just type in terminal. Spell it right, and you'll see console pop up. Console is spelled with a K, by the way. You probably can type in console with a K and get the same thing. You're gonna open that up. It's gonna be a handy dandy little little type, bit of line you gotta type in there. All right, and what this line is gonna be is gonna give Chrome access to the gamepad on the Steam Deck. If you don't do this part, when you open up Stadia or whatnot, it ain't gonna work. Stadia, GeForce Now, any kind of cloud gaming uh, application, they're not gonna work because they're not gonna. Chrome's not gonna recognize your controllers on your Steam Deck. Uh, I'm gonna put in the description what the little code you gotta type in. So don't worry about it. I'm not about to type it all up here right here, but it's gonna be in the description. After you do that, you wanna go over to where it says. Uh, sorry, you're gonna open up the Steam actual Steam Store while you're in desktop mode still. And as always, we're gonna go over to where it says games. Add a non Steam Deck game to my library, and you know the drill. If you already, if you've done this before, if you're not, then well, you're about to find out the drill. And you're gonna scroll down till you find Chrome, and then you're just gonna click, put a little check mark on it, and then you're gonna add to the library. It's not on mine because I've already done it, but you're gonna find Chrome in this little list. You're gonna put the check mark on it, and then you're gonna click Add to Library, Add Selected to the Library. That way. It's going to be on your gaming mode. You don't have to always go to desktop mode to get the Chrome. All right. After that, you close that. You close that. And then you can go straight back to return to gaming mode. We are already almost there. Oh, you know what? Let me bring something up. Let's, let's reverse it real quick. So one thing I like to do or what I did is once I installed Chrome, I opened up Chrome while in desktop mode still. And... I went ahead and signed in as the same account I used for Stadia. All right. Now, I did not sync my bookmarks and everything from my regular, you know, account profile or anything like that. Because I don't need to bring all my bookmarks in. I just want to already be signed into Google Chrome as my account that I use for Stadia. And then after that, I went to Stadia.com and signed in on Stadia right then and there. And I added a bookmark to it. And I'll actually, I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. Well, we'll get to that in a few minutes. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I did the same thing for GeForce Now. Added a bookmark and just put it on my, and put it on my bookmarks. So that way, they're always there. They'll always be there. No big deal, okay? So, you remember that little bit of code we talked about a minute ago? There's one more part to it. So, what you're going to want to do is you go to Google Chrome. Click on right here, the little, key, the little keyboard mapper right there. And you click right here. It's not so right now. You got to change. You have to actually change it to gamepad with mouse trackpad. Otherwise, it's still not gonna recognize it. I forgot what it's on. I think by default it's on gamepad with joystick trackpad. I believe. No, you want to change it to gamepad with mouse trackpad. You have to do that before you go into Chrome. Before you open it. 
right? So you got to do it straight from here. All right, once you do that, you can just go back, open up Chrome, which I'm going to do with my finger right here. And just like I said, I'm already signed in. So I'll just click on my little account here. And as you said, I added those, just like I mentioned, I added those two, which I was in, I was gaming a minute ago, testing it out. So it's still I didn't close it properly. I added both Stadia and GeForce Now as bookmarks. So that way they're always there. So you can use the mouse. I'm just going to use my fingers right here. I'm going to click on Stadia. I'm going to close that right there. We good. And then we're going to just go over here. We're going to click on You can already see where it says controller link. It's already recognized the controller. I tested with Mortal Kombat. We'll test it with something else. Because Mortal Kombat can be kind of finicky sometimes. As always, Power Rangers is always a fun game. Battle for the grid. Press play. Let it do its thing here. All right. Ready. The initial screen, splash screen, whatnot. Let's go to training real quick. Yeah, do a training match. All right. We're just picking people. We're just picking random stuff real quick, just for the sake of the video. And then I'm going to go to GeForce Now and show the same thing. And, of course, we're going to show a Rumbleverse. Because the Rumbleverse on, on the Steam Deck, I guess, in, natively installed on the Steam Deck, is still being a problem. So, there we go. Moving around, up, down, we're jumping, we hitting, we kicking, we're doing all that fun stuff, all right? All right, here's the one thing I will say. I have not for the life of me figured out how to just go back to the, to the regular browser. But the only way I can really figure it out, I think before when it wasn't working properly, you could just, you know, press the back button, but it, it doesn't recognize it anymore because now it sees everything as a trackpad. I guess I could just press the escape button on the keyboard. That might do it, I don't know. But we're going to go over to, we're going to cancel out of this real quick. And we're going to go to the to, to the main event here. We're going to go to Rumbleverse. So GeForce Now. Now here's the thing I noticed. And I have not figured out how to get it properly. But GeForce Now, for whatever reason, will not show my games. But if you go up to the search. And I've, I've already searched recently for Rumbleverse and Lost Ark. Because those are two games I do own. And you can you can search your games and they pop up with no problems. So just FYI, it may not show your games, your actual games, but do a search by your and search and type in whatever game you're looking for. It's gonna pop up. All right. So I'm going to show you real quick. It works, definitely. So let's see here. Let's do this right here. We're in a little practice mode or whatnot. And guys, I'm just going to throw it out there. Help your boy out. Buy me a coffee. I got a link in the description. You can donate a couple of dollars. Lowest tier is like a couple of dollars. Still a couple, throw a couple of dollars to your boy. I can get more equipment. I can get more games. We can keep this thing flowing with the Steam Deck reviews and the, uh, and, and the cloud gaming reviews as well. All right, we in here. LT, combat mode. So look at this. You think I'm playing? Y'all can clearly see. Everything's working like it should work. We in Rumbleverse. Right now I'm in the little, the little, I guess the practice mode or whatever, but we're clearly in Rumbleverse. So FYI. You know your boy wasn't gonna lie about you. So anyway, if you like more, oh by the way, I do, I will have some some links so you can sign up for Stadia and GeForce now in the description as well. If you like more information, like, subscribe, do your due diligence, cruise around the playlist. You might find a few things. Share those videos out. And we out.